and today we have a we have a guest, right? So uh, I'm not going to introduce uh, the guest. How about you introduce yourself to us? Okay. Well, uh, good afternoon for all the people who are listening and watching. Well, uh, I am Mr. Abdullah Khadr Asadaq. Okay, I believe mm-hmm. uh, some of you have followed me on Instagram and those so- social media accounts. Well, first of all, thank you, Mo. Thank you for sure Radio and FN for having me today. Sure. Um, well, first of all, I would like to say thanks a lot for my family because for their sustainable encouragement, for Hardin Center because they always got my back, Mr. Hardan, Mr. Marwan, Mr. Rakan, and all the lovely stuff there. Mm-hmm. Well, it's me again. I'm Sa Abdullah, okay, a social content creator, English yeah. social content creator, uh-huh. social media activist, and English trainer. Okay, a man who is in real in love with poetry. Okay, who used to... Oh, that's to, amazing. Yeah, who used to draw also as well. Okay. Well, that's and, great. So yeah. you got a lot of talents. Well, <laughs> yeah, we got so, a lot of this coming. Okay, lovely. Yeah. So many talents, yeah. All right, okay. so that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So I always say, mm-hmm. okay, that... Uh, Learning a language, Mm -hmm. okay, or sorry, earning a language is Mm -hmm. better than learning Mm -hmm. a language. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to you, Mm -hmm. did you earn English? Like, did you get it in in different stages in your life? Or did you like study Uh to Uh to get it? So that is the difference between learning a language and earning it. So did you earn it or learn it? Lovely. Uh, Well, Mo, I believe you mean acquired, okay? Because Mm -hmm. the language is acquired, not earning. So for me, when I... I say because it rhymes. Okay. Learn and earn. Okay, that's it. Lovely. (laughs) Okay, well done. Okay, uh, language is acquired for me because uh-huh. uh, when I used to be a child, okay, my mom used to uh, play songs for me, play podcasts in English, That's amazing. Uh, videos for children and so on. Uh-huh. So I grew up speaking English. Yeah, it was uh, ju- just like one of my natures. Okay, so uh, yeah, it is a um, language could be acquired, not learning. For example, if we put... Um, a Korean ch- child, okay, yep. here in front of us, and we speak English with him from his early days to he'll grow up. This is exactly what I say, man. Okay. Like, this is exactly what I say. Yeah. <laughs> I've read your mind. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he will grow up uh, speaking English, of course. Exactly. So he yeah. acquired the, uh, yeah. the language. And it differs mm-hmm. if you bring, like, let's say, a teenager, exactly. a Korean teenager, exactly. won't be able to acquire the language the same way a child exactly. would. Exactly. So you're telling me that you mm-hmm. started when you were young. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So... This, th- that question I wrote myself, mm-hmm. right? Because me, myself, I'm some kind of a musician and okay. a singer. Mm-hmm. I noticed the guitar in your background. Uh-huh. Do you play guitar or do you just have it for decoration? Well, uh, to be honest, I'm not a guitarist, unfortunately. But uh-huh. it has a symbolic meaning, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, symbolic meaning. It's always uh, reminds me of my artistic side, okay? When uh-huh. I see that... Uh, that guitar in my background. I always rem- remind the poetry that I ra- that I write. Okay, I remember the uh, the sketches that I used to do. Great. Okay, and so for me, it is a symbolic meaning. Uh-huh. Honestly, I'm not a guitarist. Yeah. Okay? So um, would you teach me how to play? Absolutely. If, if you are, <laughs> if you're willing to to learn, okay, I definitely. Thanks a lot. Thanks so, a lot. So, mm-hmm. um, you say that you're right. Mm-hmm. So, what do you write exactly? Like, do you write uh, <clears throat> uh, poetry? Mm-hmm. Do you write songs? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you write uh, sketches, movies, mm-hmm. scripts? What is it? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, back in the days when I was at college, okay, we used to have uh, a lesson which is poetry. Okay, mm-hmm. so I remember Dr. Alia, okay, she is an amazing doctor, okay, I may send her, her my yep. regards. Big shout out okay. to her. Exactly. So uh, once she gave us a homework and she said, try to write anything, okay? All right. Uh, so when I, back in the days when I was a t- uh, teenager, uh, I liked rap. I liked Eminem, 50 Cent, yeah, and so yeah. on. Do you know this? Okay, mm-hmm. all of things. Okay, so I discovered that I have the talent of rhyming. Okay, yeah. so I can get things rhymed. So I wrote it and showed it to her, and she said, wow, did you write this? Okay, right. I said to her, yeah, uh, this, this is considered as poetry. She, she said, yes, somehow, but it tends to have a rap, uh, rap version. Yeah. Okay, so I kept writing, writing, and now I have maybe 21 writings. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter whatever you call it. Like, you mm-hmm. call it rap, songs. Exactly. If it rhymes... Mm-hmm. In my opinion, this is good. Mm-hmm. As long as you can uh, rhyme words mm-hmm. and make them have a meaning, Ex- right? Exactly. Yeah. I think this is this is just as good, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, this this question is for you. Mm-hmm. I would like to to know what is your okay. uh, let's say POV oh. okay. on that. Mm-hmm. So, do you think doing more activities mm-hmm. in a language mm-hmm. would help improving it? 
Well, uh, you are now mentioning the most important things about improving yeah, English. Yeah, I always say that, but uh, I don't know. People just tend not exactly. to. Exactly. So yeah. let's, uh-huh. now we're two, two mm-hmm. of us. Exactly. So let's agree on that so people can believe uh, yeah, it, right? Yeah, we feel each other. Yeah. So uh, while at Harden Center or any place, okay, that I used to teach English in, okay, I used to do so many activities. For example, one of my activities that I did last week, it was um, teaching English through episodes of one of the series. Yeah. I showed them. Uh, That's amazing. I showed them one of the episodes uh, called The Fly by Breaking Bad. Yeah, I man, believe man. you know it. Yeah, okay? of course I do. It was really weird episode that a whole 50 minutes or 45 minutes, it's talking about a fly exactly, only. Yeah. yeah, we see Walter Wright uh, try to catch the fly uh-huh. and Jesse came then and tried to help him. So uh, when students saw that, uh, they said, okay, what does that mean? I told yeah. them, okay, so now write me questions. So, by the way, uh, this is a piece of advice for anyone who wants to learn English. Mm -hmm. Uh, Guys, make questions. Guys, don't just answer. Make questions. This is the best method that you are going to learn English with. So, they ask me questions. Why do they, okay, want to catch the fly? Why are they doing that? Why, 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 and Mm -hmm. so on. Um, I tried to answer all of them, and it was a lovely atmosphere. So, yeah, yeah, uh, making activities is the best way to learn English. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, Mm -hmm. uh, I do voice impressions. Okay. Right? Yeah, Uh like I I geek out about voice impressions. Lovely. Uh So, I think, uh, you know, when you're trying Mm -hmm. to, let's say, uh, do a certain voice impression, Mm -hmm. okay, you're going to have to copy the accent all right? Indeed. Of yeah. whoever you're trying to impersonate. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So this is why I asked you this, mm-hmm. you know, about the activities. Because mm-hmm. I, I, just like I said, I noticed that you, uh, you mm-hmm. use a guitar. And at, when mm-hmm. we spoke earlier, mm-hmm. you said that you write and like writing things. Exactly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's why I wanted to bring this up. Mm-hmm. So you agree on that. Doing more activities concerning this language um, would help improve it a lot, 100%, right? 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. I told you that uh, activities are... G- really diverse okay you can yeah. uh, teach through uh, for episode you can teach you through living the own things okay one of the things that i used to do in harder center that i take my student to the cafeteria and tell them yeah okay just buy something from me okay, okay. and they just what how shall i know without arabic don't say anything okay try just try 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 yeah, and yeah. that's it yeah you know like uh-huh. when you force someone into the atmosphere mm-hmm. and make them uh, feel mm-hmm. the necessity of speaking English exactly, they yeah. were gonna they would learn you know exactly. whether they like it or not yeah forcing sometimes yeah is going to be the best lesson yeah exactly yeah mm-hmm. because uh, that's why people who live uh, like in America different mm-hmm. places who knows nothing about the language mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they're gonna have to exactly. whether they like it or not they are forced to learn exactly so, yeah now the the, the go-to question mm-hmm. did college teach you anything or help you learn English mm-hmm. all right so of course it taught you Mm-hmm. Of course, there were things that you didn't know before college, and now you do. I mm-hmm. mean, for example, <clears throat> sorry, writing an essay, maybe, mm-hmm. right? But did college help you improve your English, or were you already good when you showed up there? Well, uh, for me, okay, let's back to the speaking before that we talked about. Uh, well, before going to college, I used to know how to express myself. I know how to express uh, many meanings in English. I know how to speak, okay, but in American accent, American way. So when I went to the college, I remember the first lecture that I went in, okay, and I noticed the doctor speaking about the sonnets of Shakespeare. I said, what? What is the meaning of sonnets? Yeah. Okay, what's, who is Shakespeare? Who is that? And he's trying to imitate the things that he was doing, and he was trying to express the, the lines and stanzas. And one of the stanzas that really rings the bell I, uh, always when I hear it okay it was the by william shakespeare okay shall i compare thee to summer's day thou art more lovely and more temperate i told him what is thou art yeah, okay is what's that, is that english he said yeah it is the you old are, english it right? means they are yeah. okay thou art okay the old english means yeah. they are so are oh. are used to be art oh. back then. <laughs> so go back like 400 years ago exactly what is it exactly Sing? <laughs> yeah, and so. by the way the means your okay yeah he means you yeah okay? yeah i know i know yeah, exactly I mean, I remember uh-huh. this uh, mm-hmm. by, I think, William Blake mm-hmm. or Rose, Thou Art Sick. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I remember that line because I did an entire mm-hmm. research about it. Okay. Thou lovely. Rose, Thou Art Sick. When mm-hmm. I heard it, I was like, what do you mean, dude? <laughs> <laughs> thou Art. Why did you say you uh, ex- are? Exactly. You know? Yeah. Uh-huh. So when we, when we go to the question, so, mm-hmm. okay, I was already good in English, but we can say that college added a lot to me, okay? Because I heard a lot of vocabularies. I heard a lot of people who speaking in the British accents, okay? And 
So yeah. Okay. So maybe mm -hmm. uh, to to give you credit, of mm -hmm. course. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna give credit to college for making you that good. Okay. But let's say maybe college added the final touches, maybe mm -hmm. the final spices exactly, exactly. to your English. We can say the cherry on the cake. Exactly. exactly. So the cake is already there, but the cherry. That, exactly. That's what ha that would happen. Okay. In college. It is something that I always told to people. Uh, before you going to English departments, guys, uh -huh. guys, if you don't have the language, okay, please improve it because uh, before you going there, yeah, okay, because at the first stage in the College of Arts, uh, Education, Languages, they will not teach you how to speak. Exactly. Okay, they are exactly. expecting you to uh, speak already. Please talk more about that because it's a misconception that uh, exactly. that people mm -hmm. think. All right, that uh, in college, mm -hmm. professors are forced to teach you the language. Exactly. And it's l the literal opposite, you know? Exactly. So I want it you to talk more opposite. about that, you know, regarding this uh, this thing. Well, Mo, uh, you know that, okay, uh, the English department here in Iraq and Baghdad, it is already has uh, all the curriculums, okay? Yeah. It already has all novels, old uh, essays and so on. Okay, so when you get the book, okay, uh, the teacher or the professor uh, expected that you are know the meaning of what you are reading yeah. okay but unfortunately there is a misconception okay uh, students and the sixth grade okay when they go to the english department and so on they believe that when you go to this uh, department you are going to know how to speak english yeah. which is extremely the opposite okay the mm. professor would not go uh, below to the levels of students okay yeah. so this is a really good advice that i always advise people about it yeah. before going to the english department guys try to improve your english exactly. try to enhance yeah. it okay because they will never have mercy on you yeah <laughs> unfortunately exactly yeah. and and a lot mm -hmm. of people sometimes mm -hmm. like ask me and they're like mm -hmm. Uh, so what do you think? Just I want you to, to follow mm -hmm. up on this one. Mm -hmm. Do you know some people what they have in mind? Like what? Yeah. They mm -hmm. want to go to college. Mm -hmm. They study English for four years exactly. to improve their language mm -hmm. for entire years to improve their language uh -huh. and then mm -hmm. study something else mm -hmm. like a different major in college. Exactly. So yeah. whenever okay. someone approaches me with this uh, idea, mm -hmm. I tell them, how many four years do you have in your life? <laughs> like li literally, do you uh -huh. really want to like study college uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. english mm -hmm. just to improve your english why don't you just go to an institution like six months and bam you're you're well, good you're well, done right well i have faced watch this, a movie uh, watch exactly, a series listen to a song to, exactly yeah. listen to a podcast do some uh, speaking with uh, foreign students and so on uh -huh. i believe uh, i also recall that i have one of friends okay he has um the Okay, the sixth grade, he has uh, 80, okay, 80 average, okay, a range of uh, levels and so on. So he was really good, okay, in, okay. The, uh, okay, in the other topics and so on, but he was really bad in English. When, yeah. he go, when he went to the Department of English, he was just shocked. What? What, what is this? Okay. Exactly. So some, for, of them, uh -huh. some of them tend to be lost. Exactly. When they get there. He was completely lost. That level that he was uh, transferred to another department from the first year. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I always speak with him. I told him, what did you think about that? Okay. From that, you know nothing about English and you come. He said, uh, uh, I, I, need, I needed to learn how to speak English. I told him, no, they will not have mercy. Yeah, okay. Exactly. And you don't waste four mm -hmm. years in college to learn. Exactly. English, so. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of advice is coming actually from mm -hmm. your side. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I made one question for you okay. to give an advice and you gave an advice throughout every single question. So, oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So um, now. Mm -hmm. Before we end it, because we still got about like uh, five more minutes. Okay. I don't know if my, my... Yeah, yeah, we still got about six more minutes. Okay. So yeah. what is that single piece of advice? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You're 26 right now, right? 26, yeah. <laughs> no, I think you're 27. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, 27. You, okay, as you like. <laughs> are you trying to steal yours off of the table? Okay. No, well, no, guys. He's amazing. Okay. Age is just a number. You know thank what they you, say. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. um, what is that single piece of advice? Mm -hmm. Notice that I'm saying a single piece single of advice. Single piece of advice. Like, like one advice. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to be like writing yourself a list. Okay. No. I will not. Okay. Yeah. No. Just one <clears throat> single piece of advice that you would give or mm -hmm. would have gave to your younger self or to younger people that are, of course, listening and watching. Uh, well, it's a very lovely question. Um, well, and I was, when I was a child, mm -hmm. I was really a child who was really in a rush. Okay, I remember that I have a game, okay, on the PlayStation, okay, 2 at that time, okay, and I stood on the PlayStation from morning till night trying to finish it in one day. God, no, this is not how work th uh, things get to work, okay? Uh -huh. And then I uh, also, um, when I went to uh, the, the class, okay, I tried to uh, express myself the first one, okay? I was really in a rush, okay? 
when I get older, I discovered that this is not the thing that gets done. Okay. Yeah. Great things take time. That's you true. have to be patient. Okay. For all the people who are listening, for all the people who are watching, guys, if you want to achieve great things, guys, you have to be patient. Yeah. You patience, have to be patient. Yeah, patience. Exactly. Patience is is mm -hmm. actually key. Is the key. Yeah, exactly. You've yeah. read my mind. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Patience is key uh -huh. because as we spoke earlier, uh -huh. okay, just like I told you, as you grow up mm -hmm. and grow old, mm -hmm. uh, you see that there are some things in life. Mm -hmm. All right that you open your eye to, <clears throat> sorry, that you never knew when you were a kid. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So exactly like the way you said it, I was always in a rush. Uh -huh. I wanted this, I wanted that. I got a lot of job opportunities after I graduated. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And some of them mm -hmm. were like, uh, I was like, those, those things, I mean, mm -hmm. this opportunity is going to make me go big. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to make me go big. Mm -hmm. But it was not the right one for me. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. All right. Exactly. So I did feel a little bit sad when I lost it, mm -hmm. but then I remembered that there's a greater being. Uh -huh, okay? Exactly. Greater things that are yeah, waiting yeah. for me. All right. Uh -huh. And there is uh, someone who is <clears throat> far more greater than you, me, and everyone. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. God is, it has something else for me. Mm -hmm. So I waited. Mm -hmm. All right. And things started looking up. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So just like you said, patience. Exactly. So your advice is to have patience, right? Uh, exactly. You should have well, patience. Well, this is this exactly. is this is amazing, man. Uh -huh. So. Um, I I, I want to like uh, have more time with you. Time flies when you have when you're it's having honor, fun. It's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure. That's that's actually. Amazing. And by the way, okay, mm -hmm. uh, we talked about that. We were classmates before. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, guys, <laughs> okay. we weren't actually like schoolmates, right? <laughs> schoolmates. Yeah, because you're like three or two years older <laughs> exactly, than me. Exactly. Yeah. But we were we were uh, uh -huh. schoolmates, uh -huh. and it goes to show how small uh -huh. the how world. Sm is. How small? Oh my yeah. god. It's when did you study at at that school? Well, uh, I studied, okay, from the first students who were there to Al Safwa School, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 2011, 2012, and so on, 2013, okay, till, okay. uh-huh. So, to uh -huh. 2013, mm -hmm. that's 11 years ago. Okay. And we met again today. How <laughs> small Life. How small Yeah, that? man, uh -huh. I know, right? And just like I told you, like, I got a lot of things that happen. So, mm -hmm. I'm no longer surprised, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I'm no longer surprised. When someone, like, comes comes at me and, tell, and say that, uh -huh. uh, well, we were friends uh, back in, in primary, like, 15 <laughs> years ago. I'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Okay. okay. Do, you remember, like, do, you remember, do you remember my reaction when you told me, I've seen you and at school? School? What? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Not yeah. Instagram? School? Yeah, no, no, not Instagram. <laughs> See, I nowadays, when people approach me always in the day, uh -huh. like... Uh, where have I seen you before? Uh -huh. I'm like Instagram or TikTok because I, I don't have the energy to go through this conversation exactly. because I went through it like exactly. a, a, like a hundred times. Exactly. You know? that was, uh, that's why I was shocked when you told me uh, I've seen you. Okay. I tell them, uh, okay. of course, it's an Instagram. Yeah. No, a school. What? Yeah, yeah. Really? I told you. Yeah, yeah. A school because I got, <laughs> by the way, I got a good memory for faces. Really? Yeah. So when okay. I see someone, and I still have... Uh, the guy changed. Have... Okay. My face, my appearance and so on. No, you're still young, man. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're getting paranoid. You're just 26. Age. I'm not talking about age, <laughs> no, but yeah. you're talking about change. So change as you grow old, that's actually uh, yeah, someone is, is afraid of absolutely uh, of, of getting older. You know, absolutely. But you know, you get wiser as you get older. So, exactly. Uh, okay. Wisdom over age. I definitely choose wisdom exactly. no matter what. All of us, all of yeah. us get wiser. Okay, when mm -hmm. he gets okay, so many experiences in his exactly, life. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So you told me before when we speak earlier that. You are not the same guy four years ago. Four years ago. Okay, I mean, exactly. I'm not the same guy one year ago. Okay, one yeah, year ago. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. let alone four years. Exactly. Uh, well, uh, mm -hmm. Abdullah, thank you so much. Abdullah, Thanks right? Thanks a lot, yes. Abdullah, yeah, Abud. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank uh, you so it was much. amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if I knew that you would give so much advice about every question I'd ask, mm -hmm. I would have gave you like 10 or 20 questions, <laughs> you know? Like we would have rapid fire the yeah, entire exactly. thing. Yeah, exactly. You know, because we are English trainers and so yeah, on. Okay, yeah. we always try to advise people what is the best for well, them. Well, you're doing great, okay, buddy. Thank you're you doing so great. Thank, thank you so much, much for being here. Thank you for and having me. It's, it's amazing. So it's amazing. Thanks. So, uh, how can we play him a song? How about a song? Choose a song so we can crank it up for you. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, well, let's play uh, uh, Blue, okay, with Elton John, okay. Sorry, it seems the hardest way, okay. Yeah. It's really okay the uh, 2000s, okay, mm -hmm. but I'm really like old school and so on. Well, sure yeah. thing. We're going to play it for you. And guys, uh, we'll be back after this song break and let's crank it up for Abud. Okay.